have you seen it? It says here a man taught his dog to play the trumpet on the train. What? Yeah, it says he went from uh, barking to tooting in 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, I get it. Good joke. Oh, no, it's, it's not a joke. It's in here. It's... Oh. oh, yeah, I see, yeah. Yeah, it's a joke, yeah. Didn't even know Doc had lips. Welcome to the future! It's 2019, man! Yeah! <laughs> <sighs> Another year of our lives gone, eh? <laughs> oh, and sadly, all the things we were promised as kids haven't been invented yet. You know, like lightsabers and hoverboards and flying cars. Nor have we managed to forge the uh, futuristic utopias as predicted by Star Trek. Stuff like that. In fact, if you really think about it, the uh, socio-political backdrop is its looking rockier than ever, Mike. I mean, I went shopping in the sales and uh, most of the shops shut him down after the what they're saying is the worst ever Christmas sales. It did say that on the news. It's online shopping. Yeah, shocking. Shocking. Homelessness, too, is on the rise. Oh, terrible in York. It's not safe for them out there. It's sad. They've got knives and everything. It's the hoodies. The hoodies? That's what the Daily Mail said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can believe it. I can believe it. Oh. And there's all that stuff about the, uh, the, uh, the Irish backdrop. Is that it? And breakfast. And Oh, man. Makes you think, is it all worth it? I'm starting to think it's not going to be all right. Mm. Mm. Hey, but at least we've got a new episode of Kestrel Investigates to enjoy. Um, I'm Agravain Kestrel, the, uh, the same host as we always done it. And uh, behind the lens is Michael. Say hello, Michael. Mike. You say hello, Mike. Yeah. Now, since the beginning of this series, Kestrel fever has broken out everywhere. With pe and I'm not talking about the avian virus that decimated the wild Kestrel population of Britain in the 1980s. I'm talking about people going literally bananas over the show. Uh, you've got a list here. I mean, someone wrote in and said, what did they say? They said, uh, Agravain has made the top 10,000 baby names in 2018. The girls. Oh, got a photo here of someone that got us done as a, uh, as a tattoo. Is that supposed to be you? It looks like me. Oh, hey, and some mother sent us in a, a money bag. Filled with the sun's milk teeth. Hey, oh. I'll leave them out for the uh, tooth fairy. Might make a few, Bob. So, uh, yeah, cheers for that. Cheers, yeah. So, on with tonight's episode. I was contacted by a man named Timothy Sweets, and he is the head of Ars. Uh, that's the Association of River Hag Surveillance. And he has been on the trail of a river hag in the River Humber for the last 20 years, ever since the love of his life was snatched from his grip and dragged down into the depths and killed right before his eyes. Now river spirits have appeared in folklore worldwide. In Britain we have many local legends of river hags, monstrous old women who grab those who stray too close to the water's edge, drag them down into the icy depths, and suck the marrow from their bones. In different places, they go by different names, including Jenny Greenteeth and Nellie Longarms. So in this episode, we're travelling uh, east to Hull to investigate their local river hag, who is known 
as Peg Power. Kestrel investigates. Now here we are next to the mighty Humber, which is formed by the meeting of the River Trent and the River Ouse in Fastfleet. Now our river hag Peg Powler has been spotted up and down over this river over the years. Hi. Uh, Hi. Um. But uh, thanks to the efforts of our local expert Timothy Sweet, we think we have tracked down her hideout just a little way up river. Hey, 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 stop it, you. Stop it. What do you think we're doing? Mm. Hey, what is his name? Come on, let's go to Earth. Well, let's try that again, shall we? Quickly before they come back. Now, here we are next to the mighty Humber, which is formed oh, by man, the. the followers are in. Oh, are they following us? Here, here, shouldn't you lads be in school? Shouldn't you be at work? <laughs> He's got you there, cuz. Hey, well, I would have had a job if you hadn't videoed me calling in sick. Yeah, you put it on YouTube. <sighs> oi, oi. Yeah. Hey, no! got me out! Come back here, you cheeky kids! Stupid, loud road. Stop moping, we'll get you a new hat. So here we are in slightly more pleasant surroundings with our river hag expert and arse head, Timothy Sweet. Welcome. That's head of arse. And thanks, it's nice to have some company. At that point we were the Northern Investigative Pond Life League, or Nipple for short. It was a rounder organisation with a larger central point. But with the shifting of the county boundaries we were forced into arse. But I like arse. Have you ever put up a tent before? You haven't put a single peg in the ground. Well, you are worry about me, I can do this. Got upside down. It's gonna be a while. <clears throat> Water. Is it? Yeah. Fresh from river. You see, you should be drinking that. It looks filthy. I've been drinking it all my life. Oh, I'll put it up, shall I then? Not a day goes by they don't think back to that fateful day. She was a free spirit, you know. Out there one night in the river, she jumped into the water. She wanted me to go in after her, but I just stayed there, watching her. I can still see the expression of terror in her big brown eyes. She was grabbed and dragged under the water. She surfaced a couple of times as I tried to row over to her. The water was frothing and splashing. I jumped in and tried to grab Valerie. And that's when it bit me. But I held on tight and pulled with all my strength. I managed to get back into the boat. And it went quiet and still. I looked down at my hand and all I had there's a clump of her hair. And a collar. Collar? What? Well, hang on a sec, Valerie was your dog? Well, yeah. I thought it was your fucking wife or something, not just a dog. She wasn't just a dog. She was a big part of my life. I'd had her nearly six months. Mike, don't be insensitive. I know how you must feel to me. I lost a hamster once, very similar. Really? Well, it's so much that it died. Beautiful, isn't it? What is? The river. You wouldn't believe you're in the vicinity of a vicious predator, would you? Oh, you'd be surprised what I believe. I'm very open-minded. Yeah, I can see that. Some people, 
They're so close-minded, they're almost impenetrable. Not me. Penetrate away! What the fuck are you doing? I was just going to show you the scar where Peg Polo bit me. It's really not necessary. So, the plan is we get some sleep now, and then get out on the river. What, in a boat? Well, I'm a Poseidon Mark III. I'm a toothbrush. Can I borrow yours? No. Oh, it's all right. I've got some polos. You know, I don't think this is my bag. No. Mm. I think we mixed up bags. You didn't look in there, did you? No. Hey, listen, it says here that the river hag is closely related to the Scandinavian Mara. Yeah. Where, where's Scandinavia, Mike? Is it near Sweden? No. Oh. Well, anyway, it says the Mara, a monstrous hag, would come in the night and sit on your chest while you were sleeping, feeding you nightmares. And in the morning, you wake up really tired. It says that's where the well-known phrase hag-ridden comes from. All oh, right, that well-known phrase that I've never heard until you just said. Still, I wouldn't like to be ridden by a hag. No way. Well, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, God, I hate sleeping bags. I've got my balls all twisted. I just hate tents and camping, it's crap. Oh. Well, if you hate tents, why do you own one? I don't know, this isn't mine, it's Roger's. Oh, right. How is your best mate, Roger? My best mate, Roger? We're not ten. He's fine, anyway. Hardly see him. Yeah. Oh, you watched the show, by the way. Did I oh, tell you? Yeah, what did he say? He said it was funny. <laughs> funny? What's funny? You know, he says you were funny. You know, your, your glasses and your face. Thanks. Yeah, so. Oh, he had some suggestions, though. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I've got them window. Um, said, uh, yeah. Hang on. Oh, yeah, less of you talking. He said you talk too much. And um, just better stuff in general. So, like, just to, you know, better stuff. And uh, pretty much said most of the episodes could be cut down to about two minutes without losing much. I've heard enough. What does he know anyway? Oh. He does quite a lot. He's, he does a lot of YouTube and he does Twitch gaming. Twitch? What? Like Bill Oddy? No. He's... No, he plays Fortnite. His last video got like 200,000 hits on it. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Chance would be a fine fucking thing. It's daytime. Willie's touching the night. I just got to sleep. <coughs> oh, my back. You better get ready, Mike. What for? I'm not, I'm not going out on that river. Why not? I can't swim. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. You'd have to laugh. I just never learn. No, I mean, I'm just surprised. I mean, I could swim for miles. Yeah, people like you always can. What do you mean, people like me? I don't know, it's like a... Room for another one? No. It's time, boys. You ready to catch yourselves a hag? Well, that's your boat. Are you sure we can all fit in there? I've had three boys in that. Oh, fair enough. Get your camera, man. Get lost. Oh. What, you're not having this? You'll drop it in the river. Well, we can always use this. My, my goodman's GoPro. Is it any good? 
It's a good one. All right, let's go then. Hold your horses. We need one more thing. Bait. What do you mean, like a uh, maggots or sweet corn or something? Oh, I was thinking more about a human child. Oh my god! <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> what do you look like? Save some for later, Augustus. What? <sighs> I'm wearing a buoyancy aid. Oh, right. <laughs> Tim, man, where did you get them clothes from? I used to be a scoutmaster. You used to be? Are you not anymore? No. Come on then, Kez, let's have you knelt down. Let's see the full picture. <laughs> Look, Tim, are you sure this is going to work? I mean, there's a big difference between being a child and, well, whatever this is. I mean, it's as different as apples and oranges. Why? What's the difference? One is green and crunchy and the, the other is juicy and a sort of a peachy colour. Keg won't notice, it'll be dark soon. Come on, this way. Right, so it's night time now and we're out on the water in the dinghy hoping to catch a glimpse of the river hag, Peg Powler. Remember, we need to be very quiet. Like this? Shush, little Billy, shush. Oh, oh, what? He's not gonna be like last time, Billy. Who's Billy? I never meant to hurt you, Billy. What are you talking about? Don't look at me with us judgmental little eyes, Billy. Face, face the front. <laughs> And why does every episode have to end up with me walking around in the dark? I'm coming. It's just not very original. You alright? Oh no! Oh my leg! Oh, where's Tim? Oh, I don't know. What's it? It's just a shopping basket on your leg. I was on the boat. Something grabbed me from behind. It must have been Peg Bowler. It clasped its hand over my mouth. It felt like damp cloth. Then the dinghy capsized. Well, where is Tim? Oh, God. Uh, I think we better get out of here, Kez. Kestrel investigates. Oh, man, can we open a window, Kez? It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It smells like camembert. Oh, it's disgusting, man. Come on. Alas, Tim's body was never recovered. Ars had lost a leader. Peg Powler had claimed another victim. And I also got a badly wounded leg. Yeah, but Peg Powler didn't do that. She might have done. Not unless she's got command over discarded rusty shopping baskets, she didn't. So seriously, man, it stinks. We really need to get that looked at. Look, I mean, it's... It's definitely infected. I know it probably is, but you don't have to tell me that. You, you can drive me to the hospital afterwards. All right, but in the meantime, hang on. I'm going to put some uh, some savlon on it. One sec. Um, it's going to sting. <laughs> <laughs>